everybody, Donna Woods, founder and CEO of Photonic Health, and this is Health Made Simple, and my guest today is Rob Ryan of Gussie's Gut, and I am so excited to have you, Rob. Um, you're such a wealth of knowledge and information, especially when it comes to um nutrition for nutrition biome um all of those fun yummy things for your animals and probably more specifically for dogs and um here we are obviously dog lovers here um we currently have three in the household and we're we're going to try and keep it at that <laughs> so you um, think so I think I know it's really it for me. It's really a hard thing. It's really a hard thing because I love I love dogs so much. So today you and I are going to ch chat about photonic energy from food, and that's energy derived from the sun. And sun is light. Light is photonic um, to plants. And then from plants, how it gets fed forward towards the dogs. Yep. I love that. Yep. Well, thank you for having me, Donna. It's good to be here. And it's good to be anywhere. I, I like uh, I like doing these educational shows. I really appreciate uh, the platform and hi to everybody. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it's such an interesting thing that one wouldn't look at our company and your company and think we're in the same business. Right. But we are. And, Absolutely. you know, a long time ago, uh, I have a really amazing doctor um, that, I mean, this is 22, 23 years ago. Um, he said to me, you know, uh, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 14. I'm 52 as of now. And he said to me, look, your adrenals, like, They've been just going and going. And, you know, we did all these blood tests and stuff. And he, he said, you, you need to get more light into you. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I was doing IVs with him and all kinds of cool stuff. Things that are a little bit more common today. I was doing back then with him. He's a real genius. And he made this green powder. And it was a powdered drink. Though They weren't that popular. There was no other real green drinks out there. And he made it with real care. Uh, biodynamic organic uh, ingredients and he said look the sun is literally you should get sun and the yep. sun is literally going to get into you when you drink this it's photonic energy and it transfers into you so i never forgot that and i really think that especially when you consume raw in our case gussie's gut your dog consumes fermented vegetables and superfoods um that plant life, that photosynthesis, all of that good stuff gets into you. I mean, it, it is a way, that's what our cows do, animals, deer, all of the, you know, grazers, that's what they're all doing. And they're all eating, usually if they have a choice, the top healthiest part of the grass or the plant. So <clears throat> it's their preference. So they're getting that into them. And, you know, people don't... Uh, I think our our customers would understand, but most people don't understand. That's this is a like legitimate thing. This isn't woo woo medicine. The, oh. This is real uh, real stuff. Yeah. So you're getting the full benefits of that spectrum of light into you. Correct, absolutely. Yeah. And one, I think the easiest thing for people to equate is when you have a vitamin D deficiency. What do you do? What does the doctor yeah. do? Go out into the sun. Literally, yeah. all you have to do is go out and expose yourself to the sunlight, and you are going to get vitamin D. Not yeah. any different, not any different than yeah. what our plants, because our plants are absorbing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And they're upcycling that energy and they're doing all they're taking from the soil and they're doing all these great things and creating a product. And so, you know, we look for those those plants for each of their benefits some have high glutamine content some have you know high um uh detox benefits we we pull and we create a a, a recipe based on the benefits we want uh, our dogs to have in our products so um the other thing that's so interesting that i think you guys probably talk about quite a bit 
in your business is, you know, light needs, you know, light is like a whole food. It needs to be consumed in its full spectrum. Yeah. So that's the way I think of it. It's like a whole food. And so when you start splitting uh, beams and, and, um, and different light uh, uh, waves, light waves, um, you wear sunglasses. We're, I, I, in the morning now, do not wear sunglasses unless it's, right. unless it's snowed on the ground and then I have reflection that's crazy bright. But in the morning, you will see me on a dog walk without sunglasses. I want 100% of those light rays into me. I have a friend that's an expert in macular degeneration. And he said, <clears throat> one of the contributing factors to macular degeneration, um, well, I'll give you the two top ones, seed oils in our diet and um, wearing too much reflective light or being in ultraviolet too long or being even the even the glass windows that we have in our home they're separating out some of the the um the right. light waves so we're not getting the full benefit even though we think our windows open and we're getting light in the house you have to yeah. be outside you got to get the full benefit get on your skin get it in your eyes yeah i love that i absolutely love that and you know we live in florida and so of course one of the questions we get is aren't you afraid of alligators <laughs> and it's sort of like what does that what does that have to do with anything donna well most people don't realize that and uh that alligators go into a form of hibernation in the winter time and that's also when people see them the most because they are out on the banks of the rivers and the waterways sunning themselves because they are deriving all of their nutrition for 6 months from the sun that's crazy. I didn't know that. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Crazy. Everybody just thinks that there's, you know, alligators running all <laughs> over the place and they're just eating everybody's dogs um, and attacking people. Well, they they go dormant for six months out of the year and yeah. and they're getting all of their nutrition from the sun. So like if an alligator, like, you know, like can do that, then you know, it's so important. And, you know, especially for our dogs. I mean, I think with people, you know, we're in and out, you know, we're going to work, we're go running mm -hmm. to the store, you know, but a lot of times I hear of so many people with like their dogs only get to go outside like once a day or twice a day. And it's literally to go to the bathroom and come back in. Yeah. And so um, even if they're outside for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, that I don't know that that's an, that's an absolute enough because i mean like i said i i live in florida and my dogs are we live on a farm so my dogs are outside for at least an hour to two hours a day and there's days that they'll go out and they'll lay right in the sunshine and that's all they're doing they're that's basking right. in the sun so i'm not so i love the fact that you guys are your company gussie's gut is really talking about hey we're getting this nutrition from the sun through the plants and it's getting passed on to your animals from that perspective. Yeah. And there's a lot of nutrition that goes that, like I think we said in our last interview, we can't even quantify it. Like no. as advanced as we currently think we are, we cannot quantify exactly everything that we're deriving from that. Yeah, no. And you know, for for our product, the way we think about it is we're pulling from above the sun that's going into the plants. We're also pulling from the bottom and we only grow. We we, we focus on organic. The organic is actually our lowest standard. We also buy biodynamic and regenerative um, grown plant materials. So when I say plants, it's vegetables, tubers, herbs, all of that. <clears throat> and that goes into the, our one formula, which we call daily, because it's, it's something you can give daily. And sure. so we're pulling from both ends, the top and the bottom. And in, in the soil, a healthy farm, a healthy soil actually has its own microbiome and healthy biome. One that's grown on a conventional farm, the it's sprayed, it's over tilled. So all of that microbiome is killed. And, right. you know, really, there's not much there 
And so, you know, most people can Google, um, you know, a pound of you name it, um, lettuce, anything is nutritionally not as healthy as it is to uh, grow. Sorry, a pound of lettuce, let's say, grown in 1950 is much less nutritionally beneficial than it is today. You'd have to eat five pounds to every one pound to get the same nutrient benefit. And that is because the biome has been stripped. We've just, all we've done is we've optimized factory farming and conventional farms to pump out, to pump out crops, but it's not as good because you're not replenishing and and turning over the, you know, the, uh, the, uh, content, the vitamins, all the minerals that you're pulling out for certain crops and putting it back in another crop. You know, it's reminds me of like these puppy mills. We're eating from these farms that are kind of like puppy mills. These, these horrible, this is what animal lovers know. So I'm using this metaphor. Yeah. Um, these animal puppy mills that are turning out puppy after puppy after puppy of the same female. And all they care about is these puppies. They just want to sell puppies. But it's obviously not good to keep having a female dog in constant, you know, reproduction mode. Horrible. And right. everybody knows this who's ever seen uh, one of those horrible commercials with Sarah McLaughlin. Right. <laughs> um, you know, so we, we, we all have this and we know this, and this is what we do to our farms. It's right. It's very, it's consumer pr- uh, pr- uh, profit uh, production minded, all yeah. else be damned. It doesn't matter. So what we right. do is we focus on the healthy soil that usually lives in, uh, well, always lives in organic, biodynamic, and regenerative farms. Right. Exactly. I love that. Um, If you could provide our audience, can you give us just a brief description of like what exactly does, what is Gussie's gut and how can consumers or how can pet owners incorporate it into like, where, where, where is that part of the puzzle for for, for dog owners? Sure. Um, so we have 19 superfoods that we ferment. We then freeze dry it so that it can, you know, be very safe and healthy um, in a package and then be rehydrated at home. If you just made a raw, fresh fermented product, it would expire much quicker. Right. Um, just as much as you when you buy something at a grocery store. So um, you know, once you open it, you've got seven days if you're lucky. So we make something that's convenient and we go to great pains and effort to make sure it's low processed. It's all done by hand by by people. And right. um, and we what we try to do is make it um, absolutely like you would make it at home, but in a convenient way. So. That's what we do. Um, right. So it's freeze dried instead of dehydrated. It's um, it's very slowly two week process fermentation. Nothing we do is fast, and <clears throat> and then we package it. Now you can add it to any pet food at all, and what it's okay. doing is providing a level of very hard to get nutrients that you can't get from other normal raw food. I, for example, feed raw food. Raw, uh, raw meat and, and bone and organ meat. Now, those organs have incredible nutrients. And my dog's clearly getting his base needs met from that. Right. But this I see as the next level of, you know, for me, it, to me, it's about anti-aging. It's about resilience. It's about keeping my dog in absolute peak condition. So keeping them um, resilient means, you know, yeast, um, viruses, all of those they can be exposed to without it, without succumbing to them. I love that. I love that because you can't, even if you kept your dog locked up in the house, you cannot, you cannot prevent them from having exposure because there's yeast in the air. Yeah. You know, unless you live in Arizona. And then even when it rains, you're going to get a little bit of yeast. So sorry. Yeah. Um, and, and people don't realize that, you know, that an overgrowth of yeast can really throw a dog's system completely out of whack. 
And yeah, I mean, you know, in resilience to all kinds of things, fleas, yeah. ticks, I mean, everything. Yeah. This doesn't mean that, you know, feeding Gussie's gut will mean no ticks. Absolutely not, because right. we don't know anything that's going on with your dog. So right. what what I want to be really clear about here is we're striving for resilience. We're striving for optimal health. Yeah. And we're a component of that. Um, but we don't ever say to people, look, we're we're guaranteeing you like just throw a teaspoon in and it's magic. There's a right. lot of there's a lot of steps along the way that, you know, yeah. you don't know the providence of your dog. Like some people just adopted a, a dog out of a shelter. Maybe the dog's been in the shelter two or three times, had two or three rounds of vaccines within a year. Right. I've seen that happen. Right. And you know, within a year yeah, and then dewormed yeah. and then fed kibble yeah, and then exposed to all these other, I mean, it, the, the, the whole, the, the opportunities are endless for your dog to have other issues that right. um, no product, just as much as your light product is so amazing. Like yeah. you're, you know, if you're, if you're, you're dealing with a dog with crazy serious yeast infection issues, your light might not work. It may, may or may not. I mean, you don't know. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, except, and, and we get that. We actually get that a lot and the light can do a lot, but if you're continuing to feed the yeast overgrowth, then I can't, then, then, then it's a maintenance issue and, and you're going to lose the game. And yeah. especially like with yeast, like we always say, and I mean, we have, we have people write into the company and go, well, Hey, you know what? We've got this, we're dealing with this. And we go, yeah, it's a yeast problem or it's a, um, you know, something is going on. It's a mycotoxin issue and there's thousands of mycotoxins and you got to address it from the inside out. And that's the yeah. only that's the only, and whenever we put advice out there or whenever I give directive to somebody, I'm always doing it from the perspective of, I'm not going to tell you to put a topical cream on your dog for a yeast because its skin is itching yeah. because that is just a bandaid. Every time I, even though we specialize in light therapy, I do a lot behind the scenes with nutrition and things like that. And I'm not an expert by any means, but, you know, I've got a lot of experience because we have a lot of animals all the time. Um, well, and you have, you have to learn. And so it's always like you always, if you address it from the inside out to get you over it, because you don't want to be giving your dog a bath every single week for the rest of its life. No. <laughs> I mean, you just imagine what could be happening. <laughs> Your dog could be on a sprayed lawn where you spray chemicals to keep it green or keep the weeds from being from growing. Your dog could be drinking out of the toilet that you put toilet cleaner in or one of those things that, you know, keeps it blue or whatever. You're you could have glade plug in uh, things. You could be using uh, some horrible thing on your floors that your dog licks the floors and gets chemical exposure. I mean. You could have radon gas coming out of the you ground. You could have mold in your house you don't even know about. I mean, it's endless. Endless. You drive yeah, your endless. And so, you know, we have a tough time explaining to people, Yeah. hey, look, we can't know your life. We can't know what you're right. dealing with and what your pet's dealing with. We can't know your pet genetics, let alone their epigenetics and their history living. So- right. You know, it's for us, it's very, I, I think you and I probably, our customer support people should probably know each other because, you know, it's so sad when you, you can hear the customer wanting yeah. a solution. And at the end of the day, there's a dog involved right. and this person's just trying to like have a career, have a marriage, have a, two kids and also like care for this dog. It's so sad, but right. <clears throat> we what we've decided to do is be very um, intentional about not promising, right. not right. selling <clears throat> anything. We sell health and we sell wellness. And yeah. we hope that um, you see us like you would a food, even though we're supplemental. Right. Um, and we're here to provide this really, really concentrated nutrient dense uh, supplement that you can add to your food. 
I love that. Yeah. If you provide our audience like with two to three tips that they could implement at home, what would it be and how would it impact them? Okay. So you and I didn't practice this before, um, but I'm excited about this question. Here's This is one of my favorite things. So uh, I'll, I'll try to think of three uh, you, uh, and they'll be free. Well, basically free. Um, right. One is um, I'm a big fan of cilantro. We have cilantro in our product. Ah, I would yep. take some cilantro. Yep. 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 And it's great photonic, all that stuff. So uh, I'd whip that up in some water in a blender and, and add that to your dog's food if you did nothing else. Uh, number two, I'd fast my dog or at least do intermittent fasting. You'll have to Google what that means. Um, okay. But I fast my dog once a week. Um, I want to give all of his organs, liver, kidney, the whole the colon, an entire day's worth of rest. So he won't be fed. So so he gets fed in the morning. He won't be fed until the next morning. So that's, you know, uh, much. It's a it's a nice long period of time, and right. um, some people don't like to do that. I'm telling you, folks, it's one of the best anti aging and best health longevity and health span tricks you can do is give your dog system a rest because <clears throat> all of these organs are working all the time and especially with raw fed the more nutrient dense the more rest they need right. and then third coconut water it ah, is the, it is the unsung hero of yeah. everything your dog has diarrhea coconut water your dog is on a fasting day coconut water you want to get your dog to drink a lot because you're going to go for a run and it's a little warm, coconut water, um, hydrate them. So I add, sometimes I'll do 50, 50 coconut water, water. It's right. just amazing. And it's, it's, um, many people don't know, but it's, it's as close to a human plasma as you can get. So if you had no choice, but you needed a blanch blood transfusion, yeah. you could take pure coconut water and put it in your bloodstream. Wow. I love that. Yeah. I love we feed our horses uh, something called Cool Stance, which is basically coconut meal. Oh, love it. Love it. Like, I've got three horses that are 28 years old, and they look like they're about 15. Well, and they get um, the fat. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. But my dogs, like, they, they, they get their, they get, they go out and they get to eat all of the leftovers from the horses because they love that coconut. So, well, um, they, they should eat that th those horses poop because um, that's they, some really good stuff. What's they, going in is good. What's going out is even better. They, they, they do. <laughs> Trust me, they do. They know. Um, oh, Lord yeah. almighty. Um, anyways. Rob, how would you like our clients to be able to contact you um, if they have any questions um, regarding your product or and anything related yeah. to your company? Well, if you want to learn raw feeding, Dr. Billinghurst and I, we set up uh, a an amazing 30-hour course. It sounds daunting. It's not. And right. you can learn all about raw food from the father of raw. Uh, and that's at DIYPetHealth.com. Um, the uh, Gussie's Gut Company, uh, just go to Gussie'sGut.com. Have a look at our videos. Go to our YouTube channel. Have a look at people we've talked to about what we do. Uh, we have a lot of videos there. Uh, you know, shoot, we've talked we've talked to you on there. So you could yep. see our, our video at our YouTube channel. Just type in Gussie's Gut in the, in the um, search bar. And if you're interested and you're intrigued and you want to try your dog on some fermented foods, if you're not inclined to ferment on your own, which I'd highly recommend, uh, I'd absolutely highly recommend it. We're not going to be able to provide enough fermented food for the planet. Right. So I'm all about local and at home, but our customers don't want to do it on their own. Right. So <clears throat> we create this 19 superfoods that we ferment. And I encourage anybody to start with a trial pack, which is three ounces, get your, gives you opportunity at a lower price to try it, make sure your dog loves it. And it agrees with them. We have uh, uh, gosh, under a half a percent of a return rate. So we know that it, it works great with all dogs. Like we don't have, um, we don't have a problem with that, but we like people to see that for themselves. Absolutely. I love that. And I love the fact that you guys are providing education 
on feeding raw people, yeah. you know, I think there's a lot of misinformation and I think there's a lot of missing information out there. And when people understand that there's got to be a balance between organ meats and muscle meats and everything else to get the proper nutrients, it's all about mineralization, um, even including in our dogs. And for you guys to be able to offer that course and to go through all of that is absolutely priceless because you know i hear a lot of people go oh i tried feeding raw and i go well what did you feed did you feed any organ meats and they go well no because i don't like you know handling it and i go well you're missing key nutrients that the animal has to have yeah well you know dr billy hurst is you know been doing this for over 40 years he just celebrated the 30th anniversary of the raw food movement that he started uh he's in australia um it you know it's one of those weird things that people overcomplicate. And so what we give in the course that is the biggest gift is confidence. And this this can be something as simple as you go into the grocery store and knowing what to pick out just as easily as you would yourself sure. um, on the fly. You could travel with your dog yeah. and easily do this anywhere. So that's the key for, for, for ah, success. Easy. I love it. Easy. I love it. Yeah. Rob, thank you so much. It's been great to have you on. And thank you, uh, you guys keep up doing what you're doing. We love we love your work. And you. uh, for those of you that are interested, we posted the links um, to the two websites that Rob referenced today. And please feel free to reach out to them and ask them any questions. They are an absolute wealth of knowledge and obviously very happy to share whatever you need and as much experience um, as they can. They're, you know, we're here to help you. They're here to help you. So please ask questions. It's the yes. only way we're going to get through this is, is helping each other. And we're working on a cat and a horse supplement. Yay. Stay yeah. tuned for that. We'll, yeah. we'll keep you guys posted and we'll chat again when we, uh, when you guys get that released, because we don't talk about cats enough, even though we have them. And then of course I've all anything horse related I'm in. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for listening. We'll catch you on the next time. Thank you, Donna. Thank you everybody. Thank you for watching this edition of Photonic Health presents Health Made Simple. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications for all new Photonic Health videos.